Good morning, modern steaders. You know it's a dreary day when your dogs don't even want to get up out of bed. <laughs> Pluto did not want to get up this morning. <sighs> More rain today, guys, so we won't be working on the concrete forms. We got another project we can do in the outdoor kitchen today. That's gonna be good. You might already know what it is by the title of the video, but let's go over to the concrete slab and see what's going on with the rain. It doesn't seem to be puddling up really. It's not running off in one major spot. It's nice and flat. One little low spot there in the sand. And I'm not seeing any low spots over here. We're gonna be in good shape for the next concrete pour. We'll have to clean up the footing area, but other than that, it's almost ready to go. Good morning, girls. Come on, Willow. Good morning, kiddos. Using the new milker is new to me, so I'm trying to figure out if bumping the udder like the kids do when they're trying to get a drink, if that's going to get us more milk, or if I'm better off massaging the udder and seeing which one works and trying to compare them from day to day. Good girl, Willow. Good girl. About two cups again. You want mama? She's coming. She's coming, little pig. Ready to go see your babies? Okay. There you go. I can hear him getting plenty of milk. About two cups again today, so Willow knows how much she can let us have and how much to hold back. <laughs> the other goats are like, hey, it's raining out. You want to come in, Hope? You don't like the rain? There they go. What's left in the milking stand? I'm glad we have the outdoor kitchen to work inside today. It's gonna to be nice pretty soon. We're gonna have a barn to work indoors in when it's raining now, guys. Good morning, pig. Is it just me, guys? Have they like quadrupled in size since we got them? I feel like they've almost doubled in size just in the last week. Come on and see, WC. Did you sleep out in the rain last night? We've been raising pigs for over 10 years now, and it still amazes me how fast they grow. Same with the meat birds. They grow even faster, it's just amazing. It's like, whoa, every day you can see growth happening. Last year we raised Freedom Ranger meat birds, like the Red Rangers, and man, we just had a constant struggle with getting them to walk forward with the chicken tractor. These Cornish crosses, it's an ease moving the tractor every morning and in the afternoon. Good morning. I'm gonna feed the chickens way over here in the pasture this morning. They haven't seen you make it over here to eat this grass yet. Tanner's gonna be jealous you were out here this morning without him, Pluto, huh? Yep, he's got to be on low activity. I've been waiting for a rainy day to do this project. I don't want a rainy day, but this is a perfect rainy day project. I've had this stuff for probably over two months now, and we haven't made it yet. 
I think this is going to make a huge difference on our homestead. It's going to make everything more convenient. Let's start building it, and I think you'll figure it out as we start going. I'd like to try to get the whole thing built today. So I'm trying to figure out the most productive way to do this. I don't need to have to do this. And this for starters. If I remember correctly, I believe I got 10 foot long pieces this time. They didn't have any 8 footers, believe it or not. Yeah, we got 10 footers. On these 4x6s, there's one really rough edge, the other edge is smooth and square. So when I cut it to length, I want to make sure we take off that edge. I'm going to have to do this in more than one pass. Get the 4x6s out of the way now. We won't need these for a few minutes, but I figured instead of moving them twice, we might as well cut them first and then move everything. Boom. That'll be okay. Gotta make ourselves a hay wagon slash work wagon for the homestead. It's gonna come in so handy. Oh, we better not lose these. Those are our directions, brackets, another bracket, uh, tire, tire, I don't want to stick it outside, it's raining out. It up right here, I guess. This right here is our tongue. This is the same trailer base that we built our pasture pig mobile on that we haven't started using yet. We're waiting for it to dry up a little bit and the construction vehicles to be gone. Boom, there's the rest of it. Goes 
this way. Boom. And it turns like that. This is a lock nut, so it gets hard, but it's that way it won't back off. You can't leave it 100% tight, you gotta be able to turn. Right here, let's do this first. Get our nut in. Now, if you want, you can shorten up the wagon to that length. I want to maximize it. Four washers, four cotter pins. Last one. We have quite a few grease fittings on here too. We have one in each tire. And we have one up front for each steer axle. This is the really only technical part we need to worry about. We need to go nine and a quarter inches over and three inches up. Mark that. Right, I'll grab one of our brackets. It's gonna go like this and like that. Perfect. Let's get the other side marked up and then we'll fit it. All right, so. Nine and a quarter inches by three. We want our saw blade to be on this side, and we gotta go two passes with the saw blade. That'll cover the thickness of the bracket. We're going to be using these 5 and a 16 by 3 and an 8 inch long GRK fastener. Just a little tap to get it started.
I'm loving it because our local Lowe's now is selling these individuals. So if you only need four, you don't got to buy a 25 pack. All right. Boom. <laughs> oh, gosh, you got to love it when your plan comes together. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Nine and a quarter. By three. I'm going to make sure you leave this line right here. Saw blade. Boom. Depth wise, I'm going as deep as my little circular saw will let me cut, which is two and a quarter inches on this edge. And then in here, because you're cutting with a circle, it's less shallow. That's why we got to go so high up. Boom. Now I need to tighten up the bolts that hold the bracket onto the frame. The last piece that comes with the kit to put on is the tongue. so it stays up, it doesn't fall on your head, you'll have it up for a reason. We're going to be making a lot of dust, so I want to do that outside of the outdoor kitchen. Our tires hit our 4x6 when we're turning, and it's not hitting the stop yet. So we need to grind or chisel this out and a little bit on the front on both sides. So that way we don't narrow up our turning radius. So I'm going to be using a grinder with a sanding disc. I think they call them flap disc. It's 40 grit sandpaper, air protection, and definitely a mask. I marked it out in pencil, the outer edge of the tire. It's still hitting right back here, so let's chow down here a little bit more. Almost, we're close. A little bit there. How are we doing on the front? Front, we have plenty of room still. Just a smidge. Perfect. All right, now that that's done, we got good clearance all the way around. I like it. I'm using two and a half inch long exterior deck screws.
one more board. We're going to be short a couple of planks. version one for the hay wagon. I gotta pick up one more board for the back. We're gonna use it this way and see how it works. I was thinking about we could get a two by four and screw it to the underside and then we can make wood sides that are removable all the way around for say we could go this high or however high we want. If you wanted to make a wagon for driving or something you could make a little bench up here. You could put seats along the sides if you were doing hay wagon rides. There's so many different things you could use this for. I plan on using it to move the lumber down to where we're going to be building the barn from where it's staged to down below for moving firewood. When we're harvesting our vegetables, we'll have a place to put everything on for harvesting chickens. And we need to bring them from the chicken tractors up here. We can use this when we're harvesting pigs. I mean, this is going to be so versatile on the homestead. Just so many different things that we're going to be using this little wagon for. I'm glad we finally had a chance to build it. We're going to need it when we start the barn construction. You want a snack? An afternoon treat? Oh. Did you let Willow out again? <laughs> Every time I open the gate, she's like, oh, here's a chance to the Willow. Let her out. Let her go. She's fine. She's not going to go far from her babies. Our babies might cry, but she'll be fine. Oh, did your mama leave you? Huh? Yeah. Fresh mama, huh? Yep. Let's dump that out. Go for it. I'll dump it out. There you go. What are you doing? Huh? Is there anything good in my sweatshirt? 
Anything good in there? Oh, a little pee's like, I need a lap. I need a lap. Got some good water there, Magnolia. They like try to eat it like it's a piece of hay or something. Still figuring out how to drink, huh? Yeah, they go. They. You eating hay, huh? You eating some hay? Yeah, it's good stuff, ain't it? <laughs> well, uh, you're not supposed to come this far over. You ready to go back? She's like, no way, I found the dandelion patch. Wow. Your babies want you, Willow. They're getting thirsty. Oh, Mama's back. And they all try to nurse. Hello says, give me a second, I want a drink. I wonder how many eggs we got today and uh, five, so I wonder what's going on. I'll have to move New York City in a couple of days and we'll see if they've been laying eggs under New York City. Glad we had a chance to get the homestead wagon built. It's going to get its work out here this summer when we're building the barn. We're going to get all the lumber from up above in the upper pasture down to where we're going to be building the barn. So. In another week, not even, we'll be using this little wagon. I'm so glad we were able to get it done. It's going to be a great addition to the homestead. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us and our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.